The world has recently become rapidly developing. The world population will continue to increase and will reach nearly 10 billion people by 2050. Technology has become in rapid development and very important. Therefore, technology experts expect that the coming years will witness greater development in technology. By creating new tools and inventions that increase the ways of entertainment, safety and benefit for humans. Recently, Tesla Hyperloop projects have appeared. In this video we will show how will the Tesla Hyperloop change Australia. But first, don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. The Hyperloop system would allow capsules contained within large tubes to travel as fast as aeroplanes, with a maximum speed of 1,223 km per hour. At this top speed Australians could travel between Sydney and Melbourne in under 40 minutes, Melbourne and Canberra, about 23 minutes, Canberra and Sydney, 14 minutes, and Sydney and Brisbane, 37 minutes. But the technology, which was first dreamt up by Elon Musk in 2012, has not yet been proven. No system has yet been built in the world, although Virgin Hyperloop 1 has built a full-scale test system in Nevada and Hyperloop TT is constructing a short 320-meter system in France as part of a facility to test it. Musk has made the technology open source so that other companies like Hyperloop TT can develop it. The system basically involves using passive magnetic levitation and propulsion to move a capsule potentially carrying about 38 passengers, through a large windowless tube. Air pressure in the tube would be reduced to almost nothing so the driverless capsule could travel at high speed without friction. Hyperloop TT suggests the system would use less electricity than a conventional maglev system and renewable energy could also be used to power it, reducing its costs. The system would also be virtually silent and because people travel within a two bits less susceptible to weather events or delays caused by wildlife accidents. Hyperloop TT notes that fencing a high-speed road corridor against kangaroo strikes could cost about $2 billion, and also stops animals from passing through the area. Hyperloop TT suggests the system would be particularly suitable for Australia as its most competitive compared to conventional rail or air, over distances between 700 km and 1,500 km. At distances of between 400 km and 800 km existing rail services are already competitive with air travel, while above 800 km high-speed rail has trouble competing with flying. The company points out that the motorway distances between cities like Sydney and Melbourne, 898 kilometers, Sydney and Brisbane, 919 kilometers, and Melbourne and Adelaide, 726 kilometers, are particularly suited to hyperloop technology. A system connecting Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane would serve more than 10 million people. Adding Adelaide, Canberra, the Southern Highlands and Gold Coast would give access to more than half of Australia's population across 2,000 kilometers. A hyperloop from Sydney to places like Canberra, Nowra, Port Macquarie and Orange would offer significant decentralization opportunities. Conventional means of transportation, road, water, air, and rail, tend to be some mix of expensive, slow, and environmentally harmful. Road travel is particularly problematic, given carbon emissions and the fluctuating price of oil. As the environmental dangers of energy consumption continue to worsen, mass transit will be crucial in the years to come. Rail travel is relatively energy efficient and offers the most environmentally friendly option, but is too slow and expensive to be massively adopted. At distances less than 900 miles, supersonic travel is unfeasible, as most of the journey would be spent ascending and descending, the slowest parts of a flight. Given these issues, the Hyperloop aims to make a cost-effective, high-speed transportation system for use at moderate distances. As an example of the right type of distance, Musk uses the route from San Francisco to LA, a route the high-speed rail system will also cover. The Hyperloop tubes would have solar panels installed on the roof, allowing for a clean and self-powering system. 
Do you think Australia will succeed in the Hyperloop project? Is there any information we didn't mention? Write it in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.